This week and last week, we took a look at the book of James, the first two chapters, and we wanted to remind you on the rest principle just how important last week's rest principle was. So here's what we want to do. Therefore, confess your sins to each other and pray for each other so that you may be healed. The prayer of a righteous person is powerful and effective. Who is it that you have in your life that is praying for you? And who is it in your life that you are praying for? When I was growing up, I had to go to confession. I grew up Catholic, and it was one of the weirdest things ever, and here's why it's so weird, and I'm just gonna, I'm going to confession to you right now. I would get in front of the priest, who I love dearly, but I didn't have the guts to share with him the actual things that I ever screwed up, the actual sins, the actual areas that I was missing the mark. So I would lie to my priest about the sins I had, and then when he would give me my penance, which was five Hail Marys and two Our Fathers, or whatever it might be, I would do double for all the sins I just had, and then all the sins that I really had. Now here's the thing, when you have someone that you share with, you wanna make sure that they're someone who doesn't go out and talk about all the different things that are going on. But also, by having someone that you can turn to, you have the opportunity to have someone in your life that you can truly trust. That doesn't mean you give every single detail and you don't necessarily have to do so. But you can have that person alongside of you that you are praying for and that they are praying with you and that you do this both ways. They pray for you, you pray for them, you can even pray together. James says, show me, and this is something that you need to show yourself and you need to show God to have in your everyday walk. You gotta have that person that is alongside of you. You have to have that person that you can talk with, that they can talk to you, and that you can come together and pray before the Lord, that you can spend that time with Him. There's power in it, you have to trust me on it, and you know what, don't just listen to what I say, do what God says, and James shared that with us this week. Rest in that, and we'll see you tomorrow.